All right, here's my next boiler and engine on it. It's a three to four horsepower engine, depending on the boiler pressure. Welded right to the back. It is removable, of course. Supply ball governor. With a nice hand pump, one inch stainless steel ram on it. Looks great. Uh, blower on it. Big firebox. New draft door in the base. That's new. Ash pan and draft door. That's brand new. Beautiful gauge on it. Very rare. Very large. Water sight glass. Drain and fill is right here. Pop off valve on this one's set at 100 pounds, I believe. Really nice whistle. Turn down your volume, it might get kind of loud. And tricox. Uh, really nice antique oiler. Very nice. It's a swift oiler. I construct the entire engine. I have the patterns for this engine and the patterns for the flyball governor and I have them cast and then I do all the machine work on them. Flywheel is 12 inch diameter. Okay, so the base is 24 square. The boiler is 20 inch diameter, 42 tall. It's taller than any boiler I've built. Total to the top of the stack is about 80 inches. Uh, there are 24 copper tubes, pardon me, 22 copper tubes rolled in. They're inch and a half. This is my 47th boiler. You might be able to hear the exhaust going up the stack. This is the exhaust right here. The indicator right here, throttles right here. could put um, a big 12-inch uh, pulley on this shaft here, a V-belt pulley, and down to an alternator down mounted below, generate electricity with it, be off-grid. I can do it, or somebody else can do it. And that's about it. Really nice engine though. Ran the moment I, this is the first day I've run it on steam. Beautiful. That's about it.